right guys welcome back uh today it's uh tuesday i guess um like i said rifle deer season is over now so it's uh pretty safe to be walking around outside in a brown uh coat again <laughs> anyway uh just uh figured i'd take a run up here i haven't been up here since uh harvest was over uh just kind of looking everything over here um so for next year, I figured I'd just talk about what I have uh, on my mind for next year. Uh, basically, everywhere you see the corn stalks, we're going to go back to soybeans. So I'm not going to do try to do any corn on corn just because of the uh, results I had last year uh, with all the rainfall. And it just, uh, the, the stalks weren't uh, good enough and the uh, tops were breaking off and some of it was going down. Um, and being in economy mode for this next year, I don't have any extra to put any extra nutrients in to try to go corn on corn. Uh, so we're going to do a full rotation on the entire farm again. Um, so like I say, this will all be beans. Uh, the field's out up there. We're going to go back to corn. Um, <laughs> you can see that thing in the sky that we haven't seen much of this year. It's nice that it decided to come out now. Um, a little bit chilly today but uh, down in there that's all going to be corn ground next year for down in there uh, there you can see the little bit of green that's my hay field that one's going to stay that one's a nice uh, field of hay and had a lot of timothy in it so there's no reason to uh, rotate that field um, it is such a nice field to bale too when you're not turning around all the time um, like I say it goes from there and wraps all the way around it keeps going it keeps going all right guys we'll try that again I want to apologize I had to go back in my car and plug in my phone uh, uh, this phone is not doing so well lately the battery is not keeping up with uh, the cold and it's a little bit chilly today and uh, if I'm filming in the cold it dies really fast so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna try this again like I say that field it wraps all the way around it may only have uh, uh, seven eight nine wind rows but you have a lot less turning around so it is a nice field to keep the field on this side around the back, I'm going to rotate to corn. But anyway, the chicken manure. Uh, down in there, we definitely have nutrient problems, some nutrient issues. Um, we're going to be putting a lot of it down where we're going to be growing corn next year. Uh, the waterway project is supposed to start next year. So I don't know how far out into the field he's going to go. I'm going to try to get them out here in the early spring and mark it off with flags. So I know exactly where uh, to plant and fertilize and spray and uh, basically stay out of where the waterway is going to go so i do have some places down in there that are eroded and don't do so well so that's where we're going to focus the uh, fertility uh, on that corn ground um, this field here and this field here were limed uh, the beginning of this year so i'm hoping by next year it's nice and activated um, over there there's some spots so uh, I'm gonna be trying to spread this manure in places where I know that the ground hasn't been very good. So, um, all right, the phone seems to be working now. I just have it plugged into my uh, charger here in the car. So, a uh, couple things I uh, didn't follow up on that I've been uh, meaning to uh, comment on. Um, no cover crops, no rye. And uh, as much as I was trying to for this year, it just didn't happen. Um, the main problem was finding rye uh, close to home that I could get delivered here and get spread and it just didn't happen. Um, really a skimpy year to try to find rye. I just did not see it advertised uh, at a decent price that I could get some. And when I say decent price, I saw an ad, somebody was trying to charge $20 a bushel for rye and I'm not paying that much. So uh, you can get bags of certified seed for $14 or $15. So I don't know what they were thinking. But anyway, um, just didn't work out. I just didn't uh, find anything. And I was looking early on, uh, right around the time when rye was being harvested and all year, just trying to find some source of rye for cover crops. And it just didn't work out. So it's kind of a bust uh, on the one hand. On the other hand, I can say that uh, one advantage i guess it's less money i spent as far as uh being in economy mode this year uh let me break let me stop this video just to check to see what my battery's doing it it, it went right down to zero and crashed my phone so i gotta come back with you all right so we're doing okay with the battery so let me uh i'm gonna start driving here where am i at i want to i'd like to see how long of a hay field this is the ground's frozen it's frozen solid i'm not going to be putting any ruts in there so where am i at mileage wise I'm at point three, so let's see. Let's drive from one end to the other here. And uh, just to get a sense of how long this uh, contouring hay field is, I should do it along the bottom, it'll be longer. 
And you know what? Not to make it longer, actually, I think the bottom is rockier than the top. There's a lot more rocks down at the bottom. So just in case the car is running in the field, I will start down at the bottom. And the car doesn't like running over corn stalks. So anyway, uh, so the ride just didn't work out. The waterway is going to be cutting right through here on this side. You can see the ditch already. And uh, there you see a little bit where it washed a very small amount. Not as much as uh, other years. So down in here we're going to have our corn. And uh, like I say, we're going to focus on the fertility down there. I did say two hay fields. We're going to be going into... Uh, corn and that is the plan now that is definitely i'm not gonna change my mind at the last minute that's gonna be how we're gonna do it next year we have to uh just on the uh, uh i still have more than i can sell so i want to kind of cut it down and um, it's a little bit more money up front selling the corn than waiting for the hay to sell so yeah you can i don't know if you can hear how rocky it is so we're still driving here Let's just see how long this field is figure I'd stay along the bottom edge because the for one the hay isn't as good down here for two it's a little rockier but yeah the sun is out it's nice to see the sun once in a while <laughs> it's been pretty uh, gloomy here I'm not gonna lie it's been a very gloomy fall here so uh, anyway so to <laughs> to make this video semi interesting uh, this down there you see the shed okay and to the right of the shed is a, a small patch there that did not do very well at all um, with the soybeans and it's very eroded so we're going to be focusing on that section to start with with the chicken manure and then we're going to move out to that section there and focus on that and we're going to jump over and focus on on the other side there and if there's uh there should be a good bit left after i get those areas taken care of that we're going to put some on the other hay field that's going to go back into corn um for 2019 so um that's gonna be the plan here like i said i really wish i could have got cover crops and uh no such luck my neighbor's cornfield he was out the other day this is the first dry week we've had uh, all year just about <laughs> and my neighbor was uh, rota cutting all of his fields down so he cuts his corn stalks uh, i don't cut my corn stalks um we're just gonna let those go so uh, let's see what we got here for mileage it's at point all right i stop here you can see it point eight so from three so five so half a mile so a half a mile hay field um that's a pretty nice field to uh pretty nice field to be farming so i have to go through this field because these ruts are bad i gotta come up and fix them all right guys um so that's where we're at uh, today as far as tuesday uh, i do have to get back into the uh uh, fields and push out some of this brush that I've been talking about that's uh, kind of getting bad I have some brush around the fields I want to take care of so we'll have something for you tomorrow and uh, that's where I'll leave you guys thanks for watching uh, of course this hay field here um, is definitely going to go into corn that was prepped with all that chicken manure it's got a real good mat of grass uh, we're going to spray that dead and uh, try to no-till corn into it so we'll see how that works out so all right guys thanks I will see you tomorrow